Let's talk about some popular pantographs. I am Myrna Ficken from A Quilter's Choice, APQS West, and here I'm going to show you a few popular pattern graphs from my renters and customers as well. This is called Ebb and Flow. It's nice and flowy, just like it says. It could go on a guy's quilt, it could go on a lady's quilt, it could go on a child's quilt. If you have super busy fabric, you're not going to see the pattern, so it's really nicely quilted, nicely spaced, so it would just give you a good coverage on your quilt. Um, it is Ebb and Flow from Urban Elements. The next one I wanna talk about, this one is used a lot. Now you can get these digital or paper, this one is called Loose Threads, and I believe it's from Urban Elements as well. It's really got a nice amount of loop and swirl in it, so it gives a lot of texture and movement on your quilt top. Again, it doesn't matter who the quilt is for. It's very whimsical and easy to do. It doesn't have too many straight lines, so again, you wanna keep it nice and smooth, going up around the loop. When I'm in this loop, and here, I'm already halfway through here. By the time I'm here, I'm looking going on the inside. Keep your eye traveling, just like you're driving a car. You want to watch where you're going. Also on these, uh, some of the patterns, they have what I call a shadow line. So this pattern kind of dips in. So you don't want to, if this is the top of your quilt and you've got your pattern right at the edge and you come across, does that bother you that you've got some empty space? And again, how much empty space is it? Sometimes you can get by with not putting it in, but do pay attention to how much space or how far apart your repeat is. And again, this is very popular. The next one is also very whimsical. It is um, Dave's Splish Splash, I believe. Yes, this came from Urban Elements as well. This is really fun. You get your groove going. It's super easy. Again, even though this is in points, you know, you come around, loop around that, you come in and just do your bumps back and forth. I always say when I'm teaching, it's like point, 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 point. So this one is super fun. It's very playful. It is not on a fancy quilt or something that's really frilly and girly, but it's just a good basic quilt. It looks good on something that's more plain fabric as well as busy. Um, if you want to go with something more feminine, you, there are thousands of patterns. This pattern has three rows and they are nested. So depending on the depth of your throat space, you may or may not be able to get all three rows in, but if you can't, be mindful. So like if I do the shadow line where it dips down, I'll do the next row, and then I could work back the other way, and if I did not have room to do the third row before I advance my quilt, then I'm still going to start at the same row again. So this one is called Ruffle Flower. It's very pretty. It's by Digitech. Again, it would be more for a feminine quilt. Um, it could go on a busy quilt. It would show great texture on the backing, and that's another thing to keep in mind is what your backing looks like. And I don't want you to shy away from busy patterns. This is such a nice pattern. Again, it has the shadow lines depending on, it's on both ends, so it doesn't matter which way you have it. So these are, it looks frightening to a lot of new people, but it's really working from point to point. So if you're coming in this way, you're working point, 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 point. Get some sort of mantra going through your mind. And again, it's working from point to point. And when I'm at one point, my eyes are always on the next point. So don't be afraid to try this one. It's really nice and whimsical and fun. It is another Digitech pattern. It's called a Whole Lot of Stars. Super, be super easy. And again, don't be afraid of something that's got a lot of 
movement and that's a tight pattern because this is really much easier than a big sweeping pattern. The last one I wanna show you is the same thing. It's a, a nine inch default. This is gorgeous. It's very, it's very fem feminine. It's very um, modern. And it's also a lot of quilting. But people look at this and they see all these little lines and immediately they think about how hard it is and it really isn't. Now look at this, how much you have a sweeping down from here, from the edge of your quilt. So you definitely wanna do the shadow line. And you don't always have to do the whole shadow line. That's up to you and just figure out what you're doing. But again, it is so easy because you're making these small movements. So you're coming in, if I'm here, I'm already looking at this point. My eyes follow where I'm going. Point, 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 scoop around, scoop around, point, 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 point. Again, take your time, keep your um, movement, your speed consistent. Don't race through it. Keep your eyes where you're going. And this is a gorgeous pattern. Um, but again, it's very, it's more formal. Um, it is a Digitech pattern as well. So these are some samples that you can look at pantographs. They're very popular with my customers and my uh, renters. And digital or paper patterns, there's thousands to be uh, purchased. So do remember and look at your quilt. Who is it for? What's the pattern? What's the fabric? And it's not only your preference, but your customer's preference as well. So I hope this helps you as you go ahead and um, plan patterns for your quilts.